Hi guys and welcome back. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to change the rear brake pads and as a bonus I'm gonna show you how to take off the parking brake caliper and how to change the parking brake pads. That's a good one. Before we start all the procedures I just have to tell you that besides this brake caliper the main brake caliper for the Honda NC750 XDCT you have also a parking brake caliper which is located over here you may consider also checking and replacing these brake pads we are not gonna change the brake pads yet for it but I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself so stay tuned now let's start with changing the main rear brake pads what you're gonna need for this procedure it's obvious the brake pads an 8 mm spanner and a 12 mm spanner also you may need a screwdriver to push back the piston you can notice how the piston looks after 22,000 kilometers this is the 12 mm bolt and the 8 mm bolt we can start by loosening up the 12 mm bolt Now let's loosen up the 8 mm bolt. At this point I could have uh, pushed the piston back again, but I want to clean it before I push it back. Let's take out the bolt. Now let's took out the brake pads, the used one. This is how they look after 22,000 kilometers. They're totally wasted. I would say it's half a millimeter or something. But uh, nevertheless, they definitely needed replacement. Now the brake caliper goes up and I can really clean the piston before I push it back and just like a small detail the 8 mm bolt goes out like this from the rear side and the 12 mm goes also but from here from here down and that's it this is how the 8 mm bolt looks like it has also rubber just on top Now let's clean properly the piston. I've cleaned the piston as good as I could. Look look how nice it shines now. Looks very nice. And now it's time to easily push it back. The piston seems to go in quite easily. You have to put some pressure on it. Don't expect this to be too easy. You have to put some pressure on it. You may use a proper tool or you can uh, put it back before you take out the brake pads using the screwdriver. You have now the second method, you put back the old pads, lift up the brake caliper and push with the screwdriver easily and the piston, take a look, goes very easily now inside. Inside the brake caliper on the upper side you will find this metal part which uh, can be easily taken out and clean it and this you can easily put it back you have also a metal part just on the lower side this you can also clean it and now the inside is prepared to receive the new brake pads these are the Nissin original brake pads you can see here the sign, the wear sign and uh, this is how they look when they are new And of course, depending on your riding style, you can change them after 20,000, 10,000, 40,000, that's up to you and your riding style. You have to consider that there is another bolt 
a 14 millimeter bolt which keeps the um, caliber, the brake caliber, and the brake caliber slides left and right on that 14 millimeter. So you can easily move it from left to right without any problem. So we'll not, you will not have a problem adjusting and uh, keep the brake pads in place. And now we have the new brake pads mounted. What you have to consider is that you have to put some pressure on these sides to make them fit with the spring inside. So it's quite easy. Everything now it's, it's at its place. We need just to tighten up the bolts. What I have to tell you is that for both bolts, the uh, 8mm and 12mm, you have to use 31 Newton meters of torque or 3.2 kilogram force. So these are the torque numbers for these bolts. And at the end you have to push the brake lever a couple of times to be able to make it tighten. Perfect. And after that the wheel spins freely with no problem. Now let's get back to the parking brake. As you already noticed the DCT version has a parking brake with separate calipers and brake pads. You may say that you don't imagine yourself changing this uh, parking brake pads because actually you don't use it but as I already told you before if you tight too much of the parking brake you risk to prematurely wear the brake pads from the parking brake but in normal conditions you don't think about changing the pads from the parking brake and uh, yeah this this should should uh, not happen very soon now let me show you how you take off and replace the parking brake pads for this we are working only with 12 millimeter spanner because we have only 12 millimeter bolts we're gonna unlock the first bolt and as you can see already the caliper goes out we have another bolt which is over here let's take out this one these are the two bolts and take a look at the caliper now we have no parking brake let's check out the pads they are quite okay as expected no significant wear and to remove it you just have to unlock these two take out the pads and put back after I don't know how many thousand of kilometers new parking brake pads I'm gonna clean just slightly the piston and the caliper and put everything back I will leave a link in the description with all the codes of the brake pads so that you don't make a mistake Beside the original ones you can buy also Brembo but uh, I don't recommend Brembo I just have a bad experience with them on the front brake it's they are okay they are, uh, are efficient but they are quite of noisy Thank you very much for watching, if you like the content you may consider subscribing, until next time, bye bye!